how to prepare kri kri these are the ingredients for preparing kri kri the main ingredient is peanuts i got my roasted peanut from tesco here you can also get the fresh peanuts and roast it got my spices which is onion and chili pepper clove and salt so all i'm going to do i'm going to blend the peanuts in my food processor I'm going to add up all my ingredients in the blender, in the small food processor or the blender. It depends on the taste of the chili that you want. You can put enough chili if you want it very spicy. So that's my chili, my onion, and my ground clove. Because the, uh, because the peanut already have salt in it, I'm not going to add salt. I'm going to free blending it, taste it for the salt before if it's necessary, I add table salt. You can keep on shaking it because whenever it's becoming paste, when it turns it into paste, it's difficult for it to grind. So you have to keep taking it off and stirring it just to... You know, doing it in the food processor or in the blender is very hard. It's quite hard. So I didn't get it very smooth. So I'm going to transfer it into my grinding pot. And then I'll use my grinding stick to grind it more. Or to make it easier, you can also get the granite paste from African shop then you drain off the excess fats and then you use the the base to make the cri cri so I use this my grinding stick to grind it to say a more smoother at this stage I'm going to heat start heating my vegetable oil and then I roll this paste on my chopping board Use your hand, wash my hand, it's all clean, or you can also use gloves. Remember, because peanuts contains oil, see the oil is coming out. So you are going to roll it as hard as you can and get the fat out of it. The more you squeeze it, the more fat you get out of it. Because you are going to fry it again in oil. So you try hard and get as much fat out of it. So you can use your hand to roll it as sticks, or you join the two to make a ring like that. Then you place it on your plate. Meanwhile, my vegetable cooking oil is hot. You can also use some sunflower oil to fry it. I'm just going to lift it up. With my two hands and place it gently in the oil. On a gentle heat. Fry it for about five to ten minutes on a low heat. But make sure the oil is hot. If not, it will soak the oil to go soggy. You keep on turning it over until you get the desired color, which is brown. But the peanut is already cooked. But you need to get it crispy. ready so I just take it out with my spatula and place it in my colander or strainer for the excess fat to drain off then 
and I place it on the kitchen towel for it to cool out before I serve. Here we are, the cricri is ready. So you just leave it to cool and store it in an airtight container and have it as a snack. This is a short note. You know in Ghana, what they normally do is they mix all the ingredients and take it to the corn meal to go and mill it in a special machine. So you don't see all this lamp. It goes a bit smoother than this. But because we don't have the machine here, we're just using our own food processor or the blender. So that's how best you can get it. Enjoy your quick